G'day, this is a video for anyone interested in the world's deadliest medical scandal, and that is contaminated blood. A special hello to the journalists and uh, to victims and to act activists in Canada who uh, so bravely uh, fought for their commission of inquiry that took place in the 90s and found massive wrongdoing in their blood supply. So much so that the judge that led that inquiry, Horace Creever, uh, essentially found that the Red Cross had acted like uh, big tobacco and rightly the Canadian Red Cross were kicked out of managing Canada's blood supply. And a, a big hello to those of you in the UK who uh, have fought uh, and very, uh, for a very long time and, and you deserve uh, all the um, investigation and answers that you're getting. So a big hello to those in the UK uh, involved in the infected blood inquiry, you activists and, and to the victims. Uh, good day from Australia and uh, your big pals of ours. So uh, I just want to make this video to talk to you about our contaminated blood victims in Australia. I'm incredibly concerned for our haemophilia families and have been for decades. We had a Senate committee, a uh, ridiculous Senate committee, it was a bunch of senators, uh, corrupt pigs basically, half of them. Um, and I say I hate to say it, use terminology like that, but they made the most disgraceful um, um, uh, determinations uh, they, they found against helping contaminated blood victims uh, and haemophiliacs who'd been infected with HIV and hepatitis C from contaminated blood on the basis that they were listening to advice from the government and public health officials that it would constitute discrimination against uh, people who acquired viruses from other means, such as, you know, sharing needles and injecting drugs and that kind of thing. Uh, well, we want them to have every help as well, but we don't think that that's fair, that haemophiliacs should, should not be helped because... Uh, the Australian government feels that that uh, represents unfair discrimination against drug users. Uh, I was appalled by that. And the other terrible thing that that Senate did, which is completely abysmal, was they denied financial assistance to haemophilia families and people with hepatitis C or people with HIV uh, who'd acquired it from the blood supply. Uh, they denied the same financial assistance that British victims got from 2003. That was the reason we went to the Senate to try to get them to help our haemophilia families. And they denied it on the basis that best science advice was used by the Australian Red Cross, who are the managers of Australia's blood supply, and by Australia's blood products giant, CSL, uh, who make the factor eight products from Australian Red Cross blood. They made it into factor eight and then distributed it to haemophiliacs, infecting 1,750 Australians with haemophilia, with HIV and hepatitis C, killing 1,400 mates of mine. And, um, we couldn't get help for families in 2003 because the Senate of Australia decided that everything was done was done with, with best science advice. So we went digging and we went digging with a lot of tears. I'll tell you why, because we had people dying and I had a lot of mates die after that. And they died under an Australian Senate decision that said that it was discriminatory for them to need uh, or ask for financial assistance. So we went digging because we were very angry by the Senate's corrupt betrayal. Those pigs of senators that came up with the world's worst decision on blood. And we found these. This is where the Australian Red Cross and Australia's first $100 billion company used to advertise for blood donors. This is a, a gay uh, publication from the early 80s. During the HIV scare, this newspaper actually reported about HIV in 1981. And yet, in this very publication from the early 80s, the Australian Red Cross advertised for blood donors and it's still in its plastic cover. Was that best science advice, giving haemophiliacs a mass pool product that it came from people donating blood who'd answered advertisements in this newspaper? Why did the Australian uh, Red Cross and CSL advertise in sexually explicit publications? Where else did they look for high-risk donors? We need answers, we need them very, very urgently. We've had parents that lost children to contaminated blood. We've got children who've lost parents. We've got people who've lost their entire careers to contaminated blood, people with hepatitis C. It, this is Australia's worst medical scandal. It's a crime, surely. That's criminal negligence. It's absolute criminal negligence doing that. Why did they do that? Why did they exploit these high-risk donors? What was really going on? We need answers. Now look, we need your help. Without you, we're lost down here. Uh, Australia's become a very corrupt country. We've got a, the, our first $100 billion company came out of this mess. Without your help, the last of our haemophilia families will be ruined. We need, to, we need your help, please. 